Guys, I just want to show you quickly how to set up your Illustrator file for your key card assignment this week. The obvious first thing you need to do is open up Illustrator. The final size of your key card should be 3.75 by 2.125. Okay. So now that Illustrator has opened, we're going to want to create a new file. You can either come over here where it says Create New, or up here at File, hit New. We're going to be putting in our own size, so if you're setting up the file without a bleed, you would be putting in 2.125 in the width and 3 0.75 in the height. You should always make sure you have a bleed whenever you're working on a print file. Illustrator, as you can see down here, does allow you to put a bleed in. It will automatically create that for you. I'm going to say though, when I submit work to a printer and I've used the Illustrator function, they have issues with the bleeds, so I like to create my own bleeds. And often, if an, a, a printer provides you a template, the bleed is a part of the artboard. So that's, that's my advice. So we want a bleed of, let's just say, 0.125. So if our final key card is 2.125, we're going to add 125 to that, then our width is going to be 2.25. And if the height should be 3.75, and again we're adding 0.25 to that, then we're going to type in 3.875. So this should be your width, this should be your height. Um, it actually already says that I have two artboards, but you're going to want a front and a back. So make sure you have two artboards selected. Since it is a print project, you do want it to be CMYK, always 300 PPI for any print. And I'll be honest, I use Illustrator all the time for web-based projects. I can always size something down when it comes to pixels, but I can never size it up. So better to start with 300 because it'll work for anything. So go ahead and hit create here. And now we have our two artboards. Um, here's where we wanna make sure that we go ahead and add some guides in so that we know where that bleed is and we don't put any artwork, um, I should say any important artwork outside of what we would want to consider the safe area. If you press Command R, you'll see that our rulers showed up at the top and the bottom. Um, a really quick, easy trick that I like to use to make sure that my guides are in the right place. I mean, you can go ahead and just use the ruler exactly the way, you know, just go ahead and pull it over to um, the correct spot. But if you come over here, and you press on the rectangle tool, just one click, and then click anywhere. Click one time, and if I type in 0.125, hit OK. Um, then I want to, so without doing anything with the box, come down here where you have this little white box and your little black um, stroke box, I want to go ahead and click this little arrow that says swap and then I want to click on the stroke portion of the box and I want to click in the none field because I don't want it to have an outline. Now if I go up to my selection tool, it's the uh, I like to think of it as like the empty triangle. You have your direct selection and then your selection. So hit the selection tool 
I can now bring the box right to the edge of the artwork. Then when I come over here, click down once with the mouse, do not let go, pull the ruler over just to the edge of that box and release. Now I can bring the box over to the right side. Again, come over, click once, do not let go. Keep pulling it over right to the edge of the box, release. Now bring your box to the top of your artboard. Now here's this great because it's gonna do both artboards at the same time. So the top ruler, click, do not release, pull down, bottom of the box, let go. Now pull your box all the way to the bottom, let go. Come up to the top ruler, click, do not let go, pull your ruler, you can see you're, you're the guide, sorry, all the way down to the top of that little black box, release. Now I'm gonna repeat on the second artboard, again, clicking, not letting go, to the edge of the box, let go, there you go. Bring the box over to the right, come over to my ruler, click, not letting go, bringing this guide all the way over, and let go. And now I can just delete that box and I have set up guides to make sure I know where my bleed area is. That being said, anything that is still really close to the edge here may not be safe. If 0.125 is truly your bleed, probably with something like this, it may be even a little bit less. So anything really important like um, text, I would not want it here. I would not want it really close to either edge, any of the edges, because there's always a little bit of discrepancy when um, things get printed because, you know, they're cutting massive amounts of paper at the same time. So it can always just be off the tiniest bit. So there's just the, there are these areas that are considered safe. When it comes to your actual artwork, if you do want it to, say, bleed off the edge, I'll show you an example. Let's say you have a circle, but you want it to sort of come, you, you know, you don't want it, you, you want part of it to go off the edge of, of the, the key card. You can put it here and then this will get cut off and that totally works. The other thing you might want to do um, is make sure that your guides are locked. And in order to do that, you want to go up to view, go to guides, and you can see mine are already locked, but you would hit lock guides, which just keeps them in place. And that is how you set up your file for your assignment this week.